all. We, the students of Kinzi Vidyare Volte, are here on the auspicious day of its foundation to show the token of love for our school. Here we are. Namaste to one and all. My name is Amba Vyasri. I am the student of class 70 of Kendra Vidyalaya Walter School. Today I am going to speak about Indian Army otherwise called as Land Force. The primary mission of the Indian Army is to ensure national security and national unity and to maintain peace and security within its border. The father of the Indian Army is Stringer Lawrence. The Indian Army uniform is named as Jungle Dress. The Indian Army was founded in 1st April 1895, India. From the acid terrain of the Himalaya to the scorching heat of the desert, they guard us as their family, all day and night without complaining from the dawn of the independence. They keep us guarding from the intruders, terrorists and other external attacks. Since 1947, we have faced their major in each case. Even in worst condition, we have snatched victory from enemies with the help of our powerful, devotional and extremely talented Indian Army. Several Army Wellness Centers established to handle likely surge in civilian cases of COVID-19. Besides healthcare workers and state police, forces. The Indian Army has been providing assistance in various key areas across the country and beyond from evacuating standard Indians from foreign countries in the midst of the pandemic to setting up quarantine facilities and disturbing essential items. The Army has led the task. Salute to Indian Army. Jai Hind. Thank you. Namaste. My name is S. Rohana. I am studying in class 7th D in Kendri Vidyalaya Walter. My topic is the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force is the air arm of the Indian Armed Forces with the primary mission to secure Indian airspace and conduct aerial activities during armed conflicts. More than 170,000 personnel are in service with the Indian Air Force. Its personnel and aircraft assets rank fourth amongst the air forces of the world. Also known as Bharatiya Vayu Sena, the IAF was officially established on October 8, 1932 by the British Empire. The President of India holds the rank of Supreme Commander of the Air Force, the Chief of Air Staff, an Air Chief Marshal is responsible for the Operation Command of the Air Force. The Indian Air Force not only safeguards Indian territory and national interests from all threats, but also provides support during natural calamities. The IAF provides air support to the Indian Army on the battlefield as well as strategic and tactical airlift capabilities. The Indian Air Force comprises highly trained crews and pilots and has access to modern military resources which provide India with the capacity to carry out rapid response evacuation, search and rescue operations and delivery of relief supplies to affected areas through cargo aircraft. Thank you. Namaste, I am King Duhasni studying in class 73 in KV Walter. The Indian Navy is the naval branch of the Indian Armed Forces. The President of India is the Supreme Commander of the Indian Navy. The Chief of Naval Staff, a four-star admiral, commands the Navy. The father of the Indian Navy is known as Chhatrapati Shivaji Bosle. He is the Maratha Emperor of the 17th century. As of June 2019, Indian Navy has 67,252 active and 55,000 reserve persons in service and has a fleet of 150 ships and submarines and 300 aircraft. As of October 2020, the operational fleet consists of one aircraft carrier, one amphibious transport dock, eight landing ship tanks, 10 destroyers, three free 13 frigates, 1 nuclear powered attack submarine.
टू बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल सबमेरेन ट्वेंटी थ्री कन्वेंशनली पवर्ड अटैक सबमेरेन ट्वेंटी थ्री कॉन्वेट वन माइन काउंटर मेजर वेसल फोर फ्लीट टैंकर्स एंड वेरियस अदर एक्शलरी वेजल्स एंड स्मॉल पेट्रोल बोट्स द प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द नेवी इज टू सेफ गार्ड द नेशन मैरी टाइम बॉर्डर्स एंड इन कंजेक्शन विद अदर आर्म फोर्सेस ऑफ द यूनियन एक्ट टू डिटर और डिफीट एनी थ्रेट्स और एग्रेशन अगेंस्ट द टेरिटरी पीपल और मैरी टाइम इंटरेस्ट ऑफ इंडिया बोथ इन वॉर एंड पीस थ्रू जॉइंट एक्सरसाइजेस good visits and humanitarian missions including disaster relief indian navy promotes bilateral relations between nations thus indian navy has been striving hard for the nation's safety thank you and have a nice day namaste one and all present here i am meena pani of class 7a and today on the occasion of kendriya vidyalaya sangathan foundation day i am going to throw some light on the topic well my friends already have told about indian army indian navy indian air force and the tremendous services to our country now indian army indian navy indian air force serves our country the employees of these forces are often transferred to different parts of our country this disturbs the education of the children keeping this in view central government has planned to help them and so found kendriya vidyalayas kendriya vidyalayas are found by central government with common syllabus and structure so that these employees of transferable jobs will find it easy for the education of their children As of October 2020 there are 1243 kendriya vidyalayas in India and 3 in abroad Kendriya vidyalayas are received very well that is being of two digits of schools it has received four digits of number that 1243 Kendriya Vidyalaya Sangathan is a chain of central schools. It is a system of premier central government schools in India that are include insulated under aegis of the Ministry of Education. The system came to being in December 15th in 1963 under the name of central schools later the name was transferred or changed to kendriya vidyalaya it is a non profit organization the motto of kendriya vidyalayas are tatvam poshana apavrino thank you good morning this is mansa of class 7th of kendriya vidyalaya walter I am going to focus on admissions of Kendra Vidyalay Sangathan. Kendra Vidyalay comes under the Ministry of Human Resource Development. It follows Central Board of Secondary Education, which means CBSE Board. Admissions in Kendra Vidyalays are decided on the basis of Kendra Vidyalay Sangathan. admission guidelines gives priority to words of transferable central government employees it doesn't have any income slab as criterion for deciding admissions however as per provisions of right of children to free and compulsory education rte right to education act in 2009 kvs already provides for reservation of 25% seats in class 1 at at entry stage to the children belonging to sc st obc ews bpl and differently able children taken together 
CKVS supports single girl child with free education. Kendra Vajale also provides admissions for class 1 under RTE Act for the above mentioned category students who are residents of neighborhood. Thank you.